Hi everyone, I just wanted to jump on really quickly and just do a quick follow-up video to the video that I posted yesterday about creating multiple folders using Excel and a batch file because that video has been really popular and it generated quite a few questions. So I wanted to quickly jump on now and just run through a couple of those because I think you're going to find these really useful. And I have to say, I can't take credit for this. The answers were provided by a couple of my lovely followers in the comments section. So I can't take credit for this. All of the credit goes to them. So I thought I would do a quick demonstration as so many of you are asking about this. So the first question that I had was, OK, it's great that we can create folders, but how can we create subfolders within those folders using the same method? Now, what you can do, and I'm just going to type in a heading of folders. And let's just make that bold and we'll just use three company names in this example. So let's go for Gramazon. Now, if I want to create a subfolder of Gramazon, what I would need to do is type Gramazon again. Then we need a backslash and then we can provide the name of the subfolder. So maybe I want to create a subfolder called documents. And obviously, if you wanted more subfolders within Gramazon, you would repeat this process. So you might have Gramazon backslash images, something like that. Now, I'm just going to do one subfolder for each of the main folders. Let's go for our second company. We'll go for Oracle and maybe I want a subfolder of that for images. And then let's just do one more because this is where we had another question. Now, I put in the comments section that if you have a company name that has two words, you can't have a space in there. Now, the reason why I put that in the comments, because I forgot to add it into the video, was that when I tried this using a space in between two words in the company name, it created two separate folders, which isn't really what we wanted to do. Now, somebody helpfully told me that if you put the company name in quote marks, so if I put tech world like this, then that's going to stop it creating two folders and it will just create a folder called tech world. So that's another really good tip. So if I want a subfolder of tech world, I need to kind of do it like this backslash and then we'll have documents there as well. So I could carry on going with that structure exactly the same as before. We need to put MD in front of all of these again. So let's just copy that down. And then we basically follow the same process. We want to copy control C. Open up notepad control V to paste in and then we can save our file where we want to create these folders and then we can call it whatever we want to call it. So clients and the important thing here is the dot bat extension. So let's click on save, close this down. And then if we jump back to File Explorer, let's run clients.bat by double clicking. And what we should find, hopefully, is we get those three main folders, Gramazon, Oracle and TechWorld, which we do. And TechWorld is looking pretty good. And if I double click, we should find that we then have those subfolders. So let's just do a quick check to make sure that they all have their subfolders, which they do. So that is a follow up tip to my previous video. Thank you so much to all of the helpful people in the comments. I didn't know this either, so I've learned something today. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.